Okay, to begin with, we need to start by uh, creating a database for our Viti script. I'm just going to simply name it Viti script. All right, now that we created that, I'm going to click the Home tab and I'm going to create a new user just for Viti script. I'll title it Viti script. Then I'm going to choose localhost. And then for the password, I'm just going to use a generated password. And I'm going to click copy. And then I'm going to also click copy here. Do that. I'm just going to go down here and click go. All right. And I'm going to scroll back down again. And then I'm going to select the VidiScript database. And I'm going to click check all. And then I'm going to uncheck all three of these. If you notice, it's database specific privileges. And then I'm going to click go. All right, so now we, uh, whenever we fill out the information, we're going to use VidiScript as the username, and then the password that I copied, the big long one, that's going to be the password for the database. And this is a secure way of uh, making databases for your VidiScript. So now you're ready to proceed. All right, to get started with, we're going to start by uh, extracting the Ion Cube Loader. I'm going to just uh, click on extract here. All right, and then uh, in this folder, you can see I have uh, have my files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select uh, cut. I'm going to go to my XAMP folder. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the uh, PHP folder. All right, now we've got that done. Uh, Next, I'm going to go uh, to my uh, XAMP and Apache folder, and I'm going to go to bin and open up uh, php.ini in here. Let's see, there it is. All right, and now what I need to search for a couple of different things to change real quick. All right, first I'm going to start by searching for, uh, let me see. We'll search for safe mode. Okay, safe mode's off. That's good. Next, I want to search for max execution time. And then I need to change this from 60 to 1000. All right, and then next, I need to search for max input. I need to change this to 1000 as well. I was right below that, I'll be doing. All right, and then next I need to uh, make sure that open base directory. Okay, we'll have to search up for that one. Okay, and it's blank, it's commented out, that'll work. And then I need to upload. Max file size. Oh, spelt that wrong. Search down for it. There it is. I need to change this to uh, 200. And then I'm going to search for post max. up for it. I need to change this to 200 as well. Alright, and then I've got one other thing I need to check in here. I need to check for register ARGC. Find and make sure that is on. So we're good there. Alright, now I need to go down here and add the ion cube loader. So I'm going to go down here and find Zend, which is right here and turns out I've already added this okay well, you'll need to add this line right here to your uh, php.ini uh, file it's a uh, ion cube loader yada 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 make sure this uh, directory is correct and then uh, we're going to click save and then we can go ahead and close the php.ini file now alright next we need to extract our vidi script uh, folder so I'll just do extract here all right 
and then I'm gonna go to my HT Docs folder and then I'm gonna just drag this full install over to it and I'm gonna rename it now if you want to install this in the uh, root folder you can but I'm gonna install it in a subfolder because there's actually an extra step you gotta make sure you do something right to do it in a subfolder so I'm gonna do it uh, that way for the for now alright if you've already got your Apache server running you need to uh, restart it now I don't have mine running so there we go alright now that I've done that what I'm gonna do is open my web browser I'm gonna go to localhost and then Viti script and then install all right and now since we set all this that should be green and these are red and that's perfectly fine everything else is good go to the next step now you need to enter your database name local host the username for your database and then the password for it and click next alright and then your site name uh, site folder now if you're installing this in a uh, subfolder you need to enter the uh, You need to enter the subfolder like this, or else you'll uh, your site won't work right. And I'm gonna just do admin and A B C D E F. All right, and then admin at localhost, and then click next. All right, and now it says uh, says you need to remove your install folder. You can go ahead and do that real quick take and you can uh, rename it I'm just, I usually just delete mine all right and now we log in as the admin all right first thing we need to do we need to go over here in order for our site to work we need to go to site settings and then we need to go to encoding and now we need to type the path, the correct path to our uh, FFmpeg. And include the .exe. Uh, you can do the same thing with uh, uh, mencoder, but uh, if you're using FFmpeg, you don't have to worry about that. And now we just click save, uh, save settings and now you can uh, you, your video site should work fine so do a quick test we're just gonna just gonna make something up real quick and I'm gonna browse for a file and I've got butterfly here it's one of the sample files with Windows and I'm gonna click upload alright and then we'll click here to see my media and as you can see it works just fine and that is how you install a video script